Hello, my friends. Ellen here. Hope all you're doing well. Welcome back to my Southern Kitchen. Let the good times roll. It's Mardi Gras time. And today I'm going to share with all y'all one of my favorite New Orleans treats, beignets. And beignets are French style donuts fried in golden perfection and dusted with powdered sugar. Mm -mm. It is so simple and easy to make. And as always, the bomb.com delicious. Everybody's going to love and enjoy these. And once you taste these, you'll be in heaven. And I'll post a complete recipe along with the instructions down below in the description box. And for more Louisiana recipes, check out my Cajun and Creole recipes playlist and my two previous videos, Strawberry Roses and Cherry Lime Aid. I'll post the link to those down below in the description box. So grab your powdered sugar, your flour, and get your oil heating up sugar because we're about to fry some beignets magic in my southern kitchen. Here we go! All right, my friends, the first thing we're going to do is prepare our yeast. In my measuring cup, I have three-fourths of a cup of warm water at 110 degrees. And then to our water, we're going to add in one teaspoon of white sugar to help feed the yeast. And one package of active dry yeast. And stir everything together until it's well combined. So now we're going to let it sit for 10 minutes until the yeast risen. All right, my friends, our yeast has risen. This is what it looks like. See how nice and puffy that is? That's what you're looking for. Now we are ready to move on with the recipe. Let's get started with the wet ingredients first. In my large bowl, we're going to add in two extra large egg yolks. Next, we're going to add in a half a cup of my favorite milk, evaporated milk. Three tablespoons of butter flavor shortening that melted and cooled. And one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. That's a capful. Give it a quick whisk until everything's well blended. So now we're going to set the wet ingredients aside while we work on the dry ingredients. In my stand mixer, I have four cups of all-purpose flour, or you can use bread flour. And then to our flour, we're going to add in a pinch of salt and a half a cup of white sugar. We're going to stir these together until they're well incorporated. Alrighty, so now I have switched my paddle attachment to my dough hook. We're ready to add in the wet ingredients. Our yeast and our shortening mixture. And we're going to mix this on medium speed for about five minutes until it forms a dough. All right, my friends, I'm through mixing up my dough, and this will look like. See how nice and stretchy that is and it ain't sticking? That's what you're looking for. So now we're going to place it into our bowl. We're going to place it in my large bowl and I spread it with cooking spray so that way our dough won't stick. And we're going to coat the dough all over with the cooking spray. So now we're going to cover the bowl with some plastic wrap or you can use a clean kitchen towel. So now we're going to place the dough in a warm place. I'm going to place mine in the oven. We're going to let it rise for two hours until it doubles in size. All right, my friends, this is what our dough looks like. Nice and big. So now I'm going to punch a hole in the center to release the air. And we're going to dust some flour onto my work surface. And we're going to place our dough and knead it a few times. Ooh, this dough is nice and soft. Squishy like a pillow. Oh, I just love the smell of yeast. I've also done a no-knead beignet recipe a couple of years ago here on my channel. I'll post the link to that recipe down below 
in the description box. All right, as soon as I get through kneading up my dough, I'll bring you back. All right, my friends, I am through kneading up my dough. So now we're going to take a rolling pin and we're going to dust it with flour and we're going to roll it. So now we're going to cut the dough into two inch squares. You can use a knife or a piece of cutter. Okie dokie, I've got all my squares together. Now it's time for the best part, the frying. So I'm going to go heat up some oil and I'll bring you back. All right, my friends, I've got my oil nice and hot at 350 degrees. I'm using canola oil. So we're going to gently place the beignet into the hot oil. Oh, yeah. See how nice and sizzling that is? That's what you want. And be careful not to overcrowd the pot. Otherwise, the temperature of the oil will go down. So we're going to let the beignets fry on one side for two minutes. All right, it's been two minutes. Let's take a look. Gorgeous! Look how nice and golden brown that is. That's what you want. Perfect. So now I'm going to finish frying on the other side for another two minutes. All right, my friends, I am through frying these batches and I place them onto my pan lined with paper towels and cooling racks to drain the grease. So now while they're still hot, we're going to dust them with some powdered sugar. Oh, it smells so good. All right. I'm going to go ahead and finish frying the rest of my beignets and I'll bring you back. All right, my friends, there you have it. New Orleans, a.k.a. French Quarter beignets. Don't that look good? Oh, my mouth's watering. Now it's time for the best part, the tasting. Here we go. Mm-mm. Look at that. Have a bite. Mmm. Look at that texture. It's perfectly cooked, soft, tender, sweet. Reminds me of New Orleans. These beignets are spot on. Fantastic, my friends. Please give this recipe a try. This deserve another bite. Mm-mm. Yum-o. Beignet-licious. My friends, I want to thank all y'all for watching and joining me in my Southern Kitchen today. If you enjoyed this recipe, please give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to share this with your family and friends. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel, and click on the bell so that way you'll be notified when my new videos come out. Also, follow me on social media. Facebook, Ellen's Homemade Delights, and Instagram at Ellen Delights. And don't forget to hashtag Ellen's Homemade Delights. And I'll see you next time. Let's eat. Much love and happy Mardi Gras.